Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. Please check the description box for everything you need to know and watch out for scammers, guys. So, I um, came into my lovely RV today and these cards were moved from my deck, which, as you can see, I'm going to show you. Look how straight these cards are. Right? So when something's moved, I definitely know it's moved. Okay? So I decided to grab the cards that were sticking out. And then we have Freedom Flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine sacred reason. So immediately what I was getting with that was... um you're supposed to live in this world, but not of this world. I feel like someone might be given too much thought or energy to materialistic things instead of grand, sacred, divine things. It's almost like um, I'm not getting like choosing money over love type of thing. Yeah, you see my fingers twitching. It's, it's more of like... Um, trying to ignore your spiritual path because of your life here because you guys know my family is involved in certain you know spiritual practices let's just say um and some of my family members the responsibility of the spiritual supernatural thing it gets too much for them and they they just decide is you know say no i'm done this is too much i don't want to do this anymore i just want to live this life and let it go and it's like i feel like this is what god's trying to say you were chosen because you are strong enough you were chosen because your soul is worth it regardless of what line you went down what path you went down it doesn't matter um and i said line instead of path so i'm getting like your bloodline matters you were placed in this physical world in a certain family bloodline for a reason. Whether it's to learn lessons, whether it's to progress, it doesn't matter. It was there for a reason. Um, yeah, make amends with your placement is what I'm hearing in this world. And then grow from it and flow. You're, you're trapping yourself. I feel like you're putting yourself in your own prison. And if you care so much about freedom then you need to allow yourself to be free. Don't hold yourself in these chains that were given to you that were meant to break free, guys. Okay? That's some deep, insightful shit that I didn't think I would channel. But <laughs> moving on. Distant dream. The distance calls your heart to roam free. As you dare dream it, so it must be. Pass this card on. And you know what I'm getting with this, with the whole pass this card on, is like when you start filling or uh, fulfilling your dreams, to make sure that you you project it out into the world. Make sure that you you help people find their way and help them to get back to their heart. Because honestly, when, you, when your heart is open, when your heart chakra is wide open, you are free. You get to roam free. You get to live the life that you want to live. And nobody can tell you otherwise. Because your faith in God will be so profound, guys, that you won't question it. I'm telling you, I still have a fortune cookie. And I, I wish I had my wallet here because I keep it in my wallet. It's a fortune cookie that says... Follow your true heart's desire. And on the back of the fortune cookie is the lover's card, the tarot. Okay? And I'm a Gemini. So, obviously, that's going to speak to me. But for like a whole week, I kept, uh, I kept channeling heart's desire. Follow your heart's desire. And this was the moment where I was at dinner with my karmic. And I was so close to getting back with her. I was just like, you know what? This is so hard. Like, what the fuck? I, I just, I should just stay. It's easy. Financially, it's easier. Um, You know, my, my son doesn't have to deal with divorced parents. 444 on the clock. It was all these, this shit. And I swear, I cracked that fortune cookie open and I read it. And my soul, it took me everything not to cry. Because I knew, I knew 456 
that God was telling me, do not give up, Monica. Major changes are, are coming. And I just saw five and 501. Um, and just that little fortune cookie, right? When, when I tell people that story, they're going to be like, what? You decided to leave your life, uh, your wife and your life behind. Um, I just saw five, one, six, which means follow your intuition. Um, because of a fortune cookie. And it's like, no guys, I left because I have such strong faith in God that I knew exactly when he was speaking to me. And that's where I'm at. And I don't regret it. And I never looked back ever since, guys. And honestly, I keep getting reminders. Even when me and my karmic are doing good, there's always these little reminders of, man, damn, I outgrew you. I I just don't feel it anymore. It's like, I, I'm glad that I made the decision. You know, I'm grateful for, you know, um, I just saw 555. For all the lessons, for all the blessings, you know, you bless me with uh, my son, you know, um, but everything happens for a reason and I, I don't regret it at all. Not even a little bit. And then we have draw down the moon, the forest nymphs dance in sheer delight, singing soft songs. Find us in the wild. Good night. I, I was hearing find your magic and I'm getting enchanting. I'm I'm actually seeing like people dancing in the woods, like around a fire in the moonlight. Find this in the wild. Good night. It's being it's um I'm being drawn to what I posted on my community page where um it's a quote. I don't know who says it. I honestly don't. But um it says She's a little bit of heaven with a wild side. It that's kind of sounds like it's from a song though. Um But it it's almost given me that you guys need to especially divine feminines with this moon energy or females in general. Even if you're a divine masculine in a female body, um we we as women connect to the moon and the cycles and everything else. Um, just like standing in the moonlight at night and embracing it and taking in that energy. You guys have no idea how well that does for our bodies. Um, so we're clear. Um, look at me being all demanding. So we're clear. <laughs> That's not the way I meant it. But I'm just saying it does help us. I know a lot of people don't believe in that. But it's it's kind of like sun gazing. It's, it's good for you. Anyways, um, I'm getting that you going into nature is going to reveal these parts of you. Hold on, guys. I'm getting a lot of downloads. Okay. You're going to find your freedom in nature. There's something about nature. You connect with nature and it unlocks your feminine energy. It unlocks you from being held back. It's almost like God, the divine, the universe is wanting to work through you through mother nature is what I'm getting. They want you to touch the water, put your feet in the water. They want you to put your toes in the sand. They want you to hug a tree. They want you to read a book under a tree. They want you to be in nature because there's messages from the trees, from the wind that's going to sing you a song that your soul is going to be able to understand. And I really hope you guys understood that. Yeah. Huge metaphors, but I feel like whoever's meant to hear that will understand that. Um, I'm being drawn to this draw too. I feel like whoever's an artist needs to start embracing their gift a lot more. I feel like in the distance, it's going to allow them to have freedom when it comes to financial abundance. Listen to your dreams. Create from your dreams. This moon card. Crescent moon could be significant. It's given me like merging of two feminine energies with these. Um, this the circles coming together. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of downloads. 
Someone needs to work on their third eye chakra as well. That's coming through. Maybe going into nature will help with that. Um, and we have the art of life. Uh, there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Life, Excuse me. Maybe someone needs to work on their thro throat chakra because now all of a sudden I'm having a hard time. So I feel like what I just said hit someone that's watching this profoundly. And it, it could give you a little bit of a scared feeling, but I'm also getting excited. And it's given me, you know, when something scares you and excites you at the same time, it means you should probably do it. Um, and, then, and then I just heard, how is it you always know the right things to say just when I need to hear it? Yeah, I was getting something else, guys, but that one's that one's for me. Um, <clears throat> the art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. So I feel like someone is afraid to be themselves, is afraid to show the world, like, I'm hearing true love. So it could have to do with someone afraid to be out in public with you or like how people would view you. But I'm getting be bold in your skin, let your love dance in the in sight. So it's like, don't be afraid to show off each other. I'm getting the six of wands in my mind's eye. Don't be afraid to show off because your 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 light is going to radiate out a uh, radi Okay, collect your words, Monica. There's something about your love that's going to show people something different. You might be overthinking how people are going to judge you guys. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting heavily someone is someone is trying to be invisible. Someone is trying to be that person that goes in the back of the classroom or stays stays in the corner and minds their own business. They don't want to interfere. They don't want to be a burden. But it's like there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. I feel like you are sacred. Like your, your energy is wealth. I literally just got off the phone with my brother talking about this and I was explaining to him that people view currency in this world as money when really it's energy. Like the way that our energy flows, it's, it's why people are attracted to us. It's not so much that, you know, we're God's gift to, to people that we're the greatest looking people in the world. No, it's not that it's the energy People are drawn to our energy and that's why we have to figure out a way to protect it because people will siphon that energy and try to to um, make themselves feel better or get different different things in this world because energy is the true currency. It's the true wealth. And I feel like whoever I'm talking to or whoever this part is resonating for, you have tried yeah, it's time to be invisible no more is literally what I got clear as day. It is time for you to break out of your shell. It's time for you to show people that you were the pearl inside the clam. No more clamming up, no more closing up, no more. You've been through a lot. I don't know if you guys understand the process of how a pearl is created, but it's super uncomfortable. It's very painful for the clam. It's like things running through the clam, the sand, the rocks, the everything. And that's how the pearl is created. And you, <laughs> I just heard you, my child, you are the pearl. And it's time for you to open up and show the world the real you. You are deserving of it. And God chose you. God chose you, beautiful soul. That's awesome, man. Amen. Thank you for that, God. For sure. Thank you for that. All right, that was some deep shit, guys. I want to pull some moonology, and then we're going to jump into the tarot. God, Michael, spirit. That was quick. 
Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. You could be a Sag. We have, it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. I feel like your root chakra is being affected by, um, I was going to say your, your crown chakra, but your third eye is what came out. So, it's almost given me with the scorpion that someone's trying to attack your intuition or clouding your judgment, not having you see things clearly. And with this arrow, of course, it's given me warrior with the Sagittarius. You're needing to fight for your foundation, for your own stability. Someone definitely needs to ground and start following their intuition. We have emotions are running running high super moon. Again, with this moon, pay attention to the moon cycles, guys. I feel like it does change your mood. It changes your emotions. It could cloud your judgment a little bit. Learn to work with the moon in a positive way. Okay? Not a negative way. A positive way. Hold on. Oh, okay. Uh, 16, 16. So if anybody was doing moon magic in a, a negative sense, I'm getting um, you need to start using your abilities for good. I'm also getting um, candle magic with the red. So it could have been a, a red candle. And then we have bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius. Bottom of the deck, we do have... Nothing would come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. I know some of you are getting negative when you hear this. And some of you want to check out of this reading. But guys, this might mean something completely different than what you're taking it. So stay with me. <laughs> we will figure this out. Yeah, nine of wands. It's because you've been through a lot. Someone is, someone's name could be Kevin, Kevin or Mark or Marcus. I'm getting Marcus Houston, that song, Everything. Um, the verse that's popping into my head is, uh, you, you came into my life when I didn't have a thing to offer you, but now... Yeah, I can't remember. I don't know why I keep getting blocked from the second verse. But um, I feel like that is, and I just heard abundance. So maybe, maybe there was something to do heavily with money here. I'm getting that someone viewed money as someone's currency instead of who they truly are. But I feel like someone's learning that, um, yeah, you can't buy wealth. You can't sell your soul for money. It could be a twin flame because I'm being drawn to my Gemini pendant with the twins and then the Phoenix is right there. Someone could need to work with um, black tourmaline for protection. Selenite. Orange calcite. Rose quartz. I'm getting, um, yeah, blood diamond, but not necessarily like that. Again, I'm getting like someone was selling their soul for money. And God is, is now, God is, God sent you someone to help get back your light. And this person feels unworthy of it. Yeah, they think they, they, they think they don't deserve it. And yet God is coming here with this cup and saying, open your eyes. I wouldn't waste my time if you weren't worth it. It's true, though, guys. Look, six of wands, I told you. I was seeing that in my mind's eye. 
All right, we're gonna we're gonna go with this. This is pretty deep, guys. Stick with me. I like I like these kind of readings. I mean, I love readings. I love readings. Don't don't get me wrong, but like I love soul purpose readings, especially when it's um. Yeah. Okay. One more thing, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, 2011 could have been significant. So there, there was a tarot reader that I was being called to lately for a lot of readings. Um, cause I only watch what I'm called to, um, no, no shade at all to this tarot reader. I love her. You know, I love her readings. She's super gifted. Um, and it has nothing to do with that. Um, we get delivered messages because we we're just messengers from the divine, right? We're we're messengers to say it. Um, and she kept saying this one phrase that someone was coming to save you. And for some reason, I I it's not that I got triggered. I just didn't like that she was saying that. And it has nothing to do with her. She was saying it because that was the message. And you know what? I was probably drawn to that message because I needed to be bothered by that. Because I am hyper, hyper, super, super independent. And to the point that even if I am bleeding on the floor, I will still say I got this. <laughs> you know, like, and um, so in a in a way, it's like, I needed to be able to kind of drop my wall down and allow that energy. Like, it's okay for someone to be there for me. And that's where I had an issue. And that's why sometimes certain messages, um, you're going to get something out of it. Even if the whole reading doesn't resonate, if that one part sticks out to you or you keep thinking about it or you're bothered by it, that's your message right there. Now, I do believe that no one is here to save you. I feel like you're you're here to save yourself. Um, there are teachers, there are guides, and obviously there is the divine always above all else. Uh, but I think that you are the one that's supposed to save yourself, that you're supposed to do the work, that you're supposed to figure it out. That's why I've said in other videos before, not one damn soul on this earth can ever say that I didn't earn my place or I didn't do what I did because even if my divine masculine cracked the door open to spirituality, I was the one that kicked that bitch in. And 22, 22 on the clock. And I learned this. And I got more connected to God. And I healed myself. Nobody can take that away from me. You know? And nobody can take that away from you. We are meant to save ourselves. Two, three, four on the clock. So um, just know that, guys. And like I said... We are going to deliver messages that might not sit well with all of you, but figure out why. Two, four, six on the clock. A lot of movement, guys, in these uh, angel numbers I'm seeing. Make sure you guys are Googling these angel numbers. And sometimes when you Google, you'll get a different message. And it's for that time. So keep that in mind, guys. But I'm getting heavily number five, like super changes, change, change coming, excuse me. <laughs> We have the three of cups. It could have to do with a, a friendship group, guys. I'm going to be honest. I just heard three is a crowd, though. Three is company as well. Eight of... Eight of pentacles. I'm getting Florida in my head. I don't know why. What else? Maybe you're going to be working with a group of people. Or, you know what I'm getting is, again, when you, when you find your way, don't forget to look back and help those come towards you. It's almost that thing of... Um, you know, when, when you're, when you're up, don't forget that you were down before. And that's why hitting rock bottom is so important, guys, because you get to build a foundation the correct way, not under false pretenses, not under illusions, not under, um, not working for anything, not, not a damn soul that ever finds their way to God hasn't been through hell, guys. And I'm not talking about finding their way to Jesus. I'm talking about finding their way to the highest God, okay? Nothing against anybody's beliefs or whatever, but that connection, when you feel God all around you, that is profound. 
We have the Seven of Swords and the High Priestess that came out together. And they're telling me to switch this. We have the Nine of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So, Divine Feminines, you could be single right now. Um, I do feel like you are focusing heavily on your financial abundance, your work right now. You could actually have a spiritual business here where you work with others. But I am getting that you're needing to protect your energy. I feel like people watch you and it's not in the best light. I will say that. Because um, with the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords, it's given me that people could be using deceptive magic. Illusion mag magic is what I'm getting. Or... What else I'm getting is um, if you're feeling down and out right now, you need to see the bigger picture. You need to see that your person might be being, excuse me, confirmation burp. I hope you heard it. 555. Five, five. Someone that you're connected with could be being deceived spiritually. Because... The High Priestess has the Torah, which is the Book of Truths. You know the truth, and you need to help your person see the bigger picture to, to work through the deceit. I'm not saying take on their burdens, guys. Not at all. But, yeah, see that crescent moon. Someone's initials could be BJ or JB. What I'm getting is, with the pomegranates here, you're abundant. And that's not just financially, guys. It's you have the abundance of knowledge of your energy, your connection to God. And you are meant to show people the way. Do not lose sight of your light. Find that balance between the, the dark and the light. Make sure nobody crosses you. But always remember why you're here. I feel like spiritually you're going to start advancing as well with your abilities. Page of Cups. Yeah. Someone someone's fucking with your energy, your intuition, guys. You're you're coming out kind of like a, a page of cups, which the page of cups, cups is intuitive, but it definitely isn't the high priestess. Doesn't matter. There's no gender in tarot, guys. Um, but I am getting heavy female energy. I'm not going to lie. I was getting that with the moon and the circles coming together. The, the Gemini pendant is two women in this as well. My grandmother gave me this for my sixth grade graduation. It's Portuguese gold. Yeah, it's a thing. Someone could be Portuguese as well from Portugal, not Brazil. Portugal. Um, yeah, now I'm getting Madeira. Funchal Madeira. Um, but anyways, Page of Cups sometimes is like, I think it's the female, if I'm not mistaken, even though he looks like a boy. But I'm getting heavily female energy, guys. Even here, all these bitches, they're females. So I, I'm getting this is really heavy on a female energy. It doesn't matter if it's divine masculine, divine feminine. Females, listen up. And males, you can stick around too because there's always messages. But I'm getting that someone is messing with your intuition to where you are questioning that you don't know what you want. You don't know who to believe. You don't even know how to believe your own heart is what I'm getting. And the fish in the cup is spirit. So I feel like spirit is trying to talk to you like, hey, fucking listen. <laughs> no, I'm sorry for joking, guys. But no, um, I do feel like someone is messing with you. And this could be why it's a time to release negative energies, the scorpion energy. I'm not saying there's a Scorpio out to get you, but I'm saying the scorpion energy. They're, they're trying to get you. And keep in mind, guys, with scorpions... The bigger ones are not poisonous. The small ones that you can't see, those are the most poisonous. So I'm getting to tell you that the deception that you are looking for 
is probably not outside of your house. It's probably inside, metaphorically. It doesn't necessarily have to be inside of your house, but it's the people that you wouldn't suspect, okay? So just keep that in mind. I'm getting Julian and Brandon. Six of Swords. Yeah, it's given me it's time to save yourself. It's okay if you bring others with you, but remember, you have to start moving the calmer waters for yourself. You have to put in the work. Look at this guy. He's working hard. Knight of Cups. I just heard it's not like the movies. It's not going to come easy. You actually have to put in the work. Yeah, especially for this Empress here. Look at this. Knight of Cups and the Empress on the bottom of the deck. And Divine Feminines. I feel like... Oh, sorry. Death card was actually popping out. But nothing is a coincidence, right? I feel like you have... um. Yep, in the Moon card. I feel like you have had a lot of transformations. I feel... And I've been picking this up lately that I feel like a lot of Divine Feminines are in their Divine Feminine era. 13 or 31 or 3s could be significant for you guys. I'm getting that heavily. We have 3-3 three, three here. I feel like you've been working closely with the Divine. You could be a Divine Channeler. And I feel like at this point your, your faith is so strong that you're gonna, you see through the illusions you see through the darkness. I'm, I'm getting someone uh, literally walking in the woods alone. And it's complete dark. There's no flashlights. There's no nothing. And yet, like, her her aura in the, in the vision that I'm having right now, her aura is all white that it's literally lighting the way. And all the animals and the squirrels and the birds and everything is like the foxes or coyotes. They're all walking and looking at her walk through the woods with this light. Damn. You're radiating. You're radiating. Yeah, you see a path that nobody else sees. See this lobster is going down the path. And this dog and the, the wolf is looking up to the moon. And they don't know where to go. And you had a lot of people trying to block you, Divine Feminine. But you found your way. You came out of the drowning water. Yeah, I just heard I can move my own damn mountains. You gave your love to me When I didn't have a thing to offer you, but I think he says, but you believed in me. And now you think that I'm going to dip. Yeah, some, someone in your connection is doubting whether or not... Yeah, I'm getting because you, you want someone that you don't need them. That this person thinks that you are just going to walk away from them. Like it's so easy for you to just walk away. John 3.16 could be significant for someone. Yeah. Judgment in the moon. You're seeing things clearly that other people are not seeing because you're in your 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 light. You're in your goddess, your divine energy. Because I'm getting this is a female I'm talking to, not just a divine feminine, not just uh divine masculine. I'm 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 talking to a female. We have the two of pentacles. And we have the eight of I almost said the Eight of Swords, but it's the Eight of Wands. And I was getting immediately that someone is going back and forth whether or not to come towards you or message you. And it could be because they're in this Eight of Swords. But remember, guys, Eight of Swords is a mental blockage. It's someone doing it to themselves. It's someone not seeing over the illusions. And the Eight of Swords, you can take off the blindfold. The swords are not touching that person in the card. So maybe someone needs to reevaluate whether or not, excuse me, 
whether or not that they're actually being blocked and not being able to come towards you or they're doing it themselves out of fear is what I'm getting. It's time to be that warrior, guys. Male or female, it doesn't matter. A warrior spirit. Native American could be significant. I'm also getting wolf. You know, I, I love the wolf. I feel like, um, as you can see, my new my new cover photo on uh, YouTube is a wolf because I'm... I can very what very much be a lone wolf, but I also thrive in a pack. Like I can do both, and that's why I love the wolf. And um Yeah, a lot of people doubt the wolf too, the wolf spirit. They think that being a lone wolf makes you lonely, but it's not. There's strength in being alone and thriving, guys. Remember that. When you can find peace in solitude, the rest of the world can't touch you. Because most people, most most humans are afraid to be lonely. So they would have that over you. That's how they manipulate you. To stay in certain situations or say certain things or do certain things. Because it's the fear of being alone. Judgment, Two of Cups... The hermit. Yeah, it's time to fall in love with yourself, guys. And you do that by getting closer to God. And allowing God to give you this love. Allow yourself to listen to God when God is trying to bring you love. Alright, why the three of cups? Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. Share this video, too, if you guys want. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I know I've been saying that I am going to post shorts. I will. I promise, guys. I've been trying to... Um, yeah, I've been trying to get my schedule in order with my son's soccer. It's, like, insane. Him being on, yeah, like an up version of soccer. Where they're transitioning into, like, a select team. It's just, it's a lot. Sorry. Um, four of Wands. Two reunion cards, guys. And look, it's right under Freedom Flows. So this, this trapped mentality, this um, thinking that you guys will be... Someone in this connection feels like there would be like a suffocation. Like someone's going to lose their their freedom, but I'm not getting that. And honestly, again, the basis of a friendship, and then you bring love to it. This is two reunion cards. This is beautiful. Wow, guys, the lovers. I told you, this definitely could be twin flame with the Gemini, the twins, the pendant over there. You got the eleven eleven card. Yeah, now I'm being drawn to that noise that was made... Um, exactly on 38 minutes on my last reading where I channeled that someone, someone regrets lying to you. And I said, and I'm hearing feelings like someone regrets lying to you about their feelings. And then right at 38 minutes, there was a noise and I didn't hear it while I was in the RV. I was, I was hearing it when I was called to look at the reading again and yeah, and if you put 3 and 8 together, it's 11. 11, 11, gates of heaven. This is your divine gift, guys. Each other is your divine gift. Yeah, my my index finger keeps twitching. It hasn't happened for a while. It used to happen a lot when I first started the channel back in um, 2022. But... Wait... I lie. 2023. I don't know why I always do that. I think it's because I met my twin in um, 2022. Why the Eight of Pentacles? The world in reverse. Someone could wear a necklace or something to do with someone's neck.
Someone's feeling hopeless. No matter how hard they work on themselves or their dreams. That they're never going to be able to close out a cycle. I just heard they won't let me. So it might be an external source. But again, that Eight of Swords, guys. Are we giving our power to other people? And having them control our lives on what we can and cannot do? And now we have the Sun card. The Sun and the Moon came out. Divine Counterpart Energy. The Tower. Ace of Pentacles. This is Divine Masculine Energy, the Sun, guys. So Divine Masculines, are you allowing other people to control you from closing out cycles? Because if you are a connection sanctioned by God... If you don't listen, something will happen and force you to move. And normally, these tower moments aren't the most fluffiest. Okay, they're not happy. They're not happy-go-lucky. You see them? They're jumping out of a burning building. Things are collapsing. Shit's going to get real. Ten of Swords right after that. Three of Pentacles. And the Death. Wow. Oh my gosh, with justice. And the Ace of Swords. Oh, holy. Not going to say that. Sorry, God. But damn. Divine Masculines, if you... This, this is crazy, guys. This is a divorce. Every single card that would mean a divorce just came out. Justice with the Ace of Swords. Justice with the Death card. And the Ten of swords like this is all divorce this is like something bad happens oh man something really bad happened like there's no there's no turning back someone waited too long to leave a situation that was meant to be done for a long time ago. The sun with the empress. I just heard it's always been you. Ace of pentacles. You guys have been through a lot, but I'm telling you, God is promising you an abundant future. God is promising you a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. This is wealth, guys. This is financial wealth. This is giving to each other. And now my left ear is ringing. You know, that's another thing, too. Someone's ears could be ringing a lot. I've been getting, like, massive pain in my ear. And it's not like after it rings. It's just it's coming out of nowhere. Someone feels that you've outgrown them, Divine Feminine, with the Sun, the Empress, the Four of Cups, the Star. They feel like all eyes are on you. Like, why, why would he or she want me? Why would they want me? They don't need me. Yeah, I just heard, I need you. So this Divine Masculine feels like they need you. You could be like me, guys. You could be very hyper-independent. Um, but again, it, it's given me that Gabby Barrett song. What the hell? What is it called? I want to say strong, if I'm not mistaken. But she basically talks about the fact that just because she can, like, conquer the world without her man doesn't mean that she doesn't, like, rely on him or doesn't want him. You know, it's, it's not a, a codependency thing. It's more of like, yes, I depend on you because, I mean, when you're in a relationship with someone, you're going to want to depend on them. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I don't I don't want to date someone that is a coward. And I don't mean as protection. I can protect myself. I mean, when shit gets heavy or shit gets crazy, they run in the opposite direction with their tail in between their legs. Why would I want that? You know, 444 four, four on the clock, 
four, 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 actually, four fours. Um, yeah, I want someone that is going to stand by me through thick and thin. Not like what people in society think as, oh, I'm, I'm just going to say these vows thick and thin and then cheat on their person or beat the shit out of their person. And it's like, what the fuck? Do you guys not know what this actually means? And you know, and, and that's why I say, I, I'm, I guess I'm an old soul. I don't love like this generation and I refuse to. I really do. I might have fun when I'm single, guys. And nobody can tell me a damn thing about that being wrong. But when I'm in a relationship, I'm dedicated. I'm there. You know, I will drop everyone like that when it comes to like flirting or whatever. And it's not because I'm trying to hide anything. It's not because I'm um, ashamed. It's not that. It's respect. I respect the person that I'm with. So I'm not going to go flirting with every Tom, Dick, and Harry or Jane or Becky or whatever bitches' names would be for that. Because <laughs> Tom, Dick, and Harry tried to flirt with me and I'm like, yo, bro. I look like your little brother. We ain't doing this. <laughs> Five of Swords. Yeah, a lot of people refuse for you to see your light. It's not that they don't see that you have light. It's the fact that they don't want you to see that you have the light. And you definitely can draw a lot of your power from the moon. I'm getting this a lot, the moon. I'm actually seeing that symbol. I, I believe it's a goddess symbol. With the crescent moon, with the full moon, and then another crescent moon. Um, I don't know exactly what that that is, but I, I think it is a goddess um, symbol. If you guys know exactly what it is, can you drop it in the comments? But a lot of people lose accessi accessibility with you if you find out your true power. A lot of people won't be able to control you. If you find out that you're the reason they succeeded, someone could have been siphoning energy off of you. Six of Swords. It's time to change that, guys. It's time to move away from that. Your life is in shambles right now. It could be karma. But it doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't. Six of Cups, six, six could be significant. I'm getting heavily needing to find balance. Someone's trying to stay optimistic because they do miss you. They're longing for you. They're waiting for something to come towards them, but you can't wait, guys. You have to go after what you want. Whether this is divine masculine and divine feminine energy, you will know if I'm talking to you. Your ship's coming in. There has to be effort. It doesn't matter if it's small. You have to make the effort. You cannot create a life on rainbows and bunnies. You have to put effort. You can't stay in fantasy land. You can't daydream your life. Yes, you can manifest things, but without work your intention is nothing you have to put work behind intention guys you have to go after what you want and stop trapping yourself mentally knight of swords eight of swords go after what you want you see this guy looking at her he's about to cut that blindfold and all that rope out you got to find your inner warrior and release this prisoner you are not a damsel in distress. You are the fucking hero or heroine of your story. Show the world that they fucked with the wrong person. And look at this. Thank you, God. Oh, my gosh. I just got emotional. Thank you, God. Look at this, guys. Ten of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. Ten Ten could be significant. Eleven Eleven as well. Because the aces mean one. You're going to have not only emotional fulfillment, but financial abundance. This is generational wor we wealth, excuse me, built by emotions, by your heart. Your fantasy turned into real life. 
This is like your dream come true is what I'm getting. Doves could be significant. The letter M as well I'm getting. And then we, I'm getting W. Like you're going to win. You don't think you're going to win, but you're going to win. I don't know why I'm getting triple X. I think it was the X symbols on the card. Um, but then I was drawn to the five of swords and the seven of swords. So maybe there's something in reference to like inappropriate behavior that you're afraid someone's going to find out about. Or that someone's using against you. Work through that. You got to be comfortable with yourself. Make peace with your past so you can move on to your future, guys. We are not all saints. There's not one damn person that hasn't done something wrong on this on this planet. I can assure you. Okay? For instance, I'm going to put myself out there and make me look like a really bad person. But before I got married, I used to be the other woman. You know? And I did it because I had commitment issues. And I was afraid of loving people. And I didn't realize it at the time. So I got with unattainable women that I thought was a challenge, right? Um, but it was only because... I didn't want to commit to them. It's I was too afraid. I thought that someone loving me or me loving someone, they had the power over me because I loved so deeply. And as a kid, I got shit on. And I was just tired of getting shit on. So, you know, no word of a lie. That's, that's what I, I went with older women. I went with straight women. I went with the challenge. I went with the unattainable. And I'm the type of person that I... I believe in the the sacredness of a marriage, you know, and I I never cheated on my wife, you know. Um I had a a warped sense that oh, you know, I'm not the one in the relationship. If they're choosing to cheat, that's on them. That's not on me. And it's like, "Nah, that's bullshit. You're just telling yourself that so you can get a piece of ass and not have to like, you know, commit to it." But the thing is, we all do things. I would never do that now. You know, one of the first things I make sure is someone single before I even have a conversation with them or whatever. Um, but the thing is, we, we can stay judging ourselves like I did for a long time. I judged myself and I thought I was going through what I was going through because of all the karma that I attained. And that's why a lot of the times I stayed in the relationship that I was in is because I thought this was my punishment. I was literally imprisoning my own damn self because I didn't think that I deserve to be forgiven. And that's not even the worst thing I did, guys. I've done worse. <laughs> but um, we're not going to talk about that. I'm just giving you guys an example so you can relate. We're all real people. None of us are higher than anybody else. None of us are... Um, it doesn't matter what your rank is in the spiritual realm. It's like that King Arthur, that circle table. Even though he's the king, everyone sits in the same circle. Everyone is equal. There's, you're not going to see a, a good king thrive by themselves. They need a community. They need people to help. You save yourself, but there's no, no reason at all that someone can't help you. Even if my twin was to come to me and ask me for help on a certain situation, it doesn't mean she owes me shit. She's going to do the work. She's going to figure out something, you know? But you can have teachers teach you. Guides. Guardian angels, guys. Someone's going through a spiritual awakening. And after this, they're going to come in quick. They're going to come in real quick, guys. Why the Seven of Swords? Gone, Michael Spirit. Why the Seven of Swords? The Magician. There's been a lot of spiritual deception, guys, whether or not you believe it or not. And mind you, this doesn't have to be consciously. This could be unconsciously. I tell people all the time, people tend to forget. Excuse me. People tend to forget that we have souls underneath these vessels that we're in. 
our souls matter a lot more than what our vessels portray to the world. You'll be surprised who you're talking to at a grocery store. In this world, they might be um, a homeless person, right? And in the spiritual realm, they're a king. Be careful. Because what we choose to do as our human selves, it doesn't end here. It goes to the next realm. And that realm will be the only realm that exists in the future one day. And people really need to start remembering that. Someone was manipulating you into thinking that you didn't have all the tools to succeed. The magician literally has everything. Emotion, thoughts, action, confidence, creating their own life. Someone needs to see the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is them. And they keep giving it to everyone else. They keep giving their power to everyone else. Ten of Wands. They're stressing themselves out. Well, look at, dude. I, thank you, God. I know what I'm talking about, guys. Look, the Ten of Wands and the Emperor. They're giving their power away. This is an Emperor energy. We saw the sun and the moon. The Empress and the um, Empress and the Emperor. You guys are in your Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy. This is your era. And people are blocking you heavily. They're making you think that you have more burdens and responsibilities than you actually do. You see, this guy is only head first into the burdens. Not looking around, not looking for a different way out. This person is being blocked to see a way out. You know, I got this, this pull on the last reading as well. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Wow, the same exact Nine of Wands with the Hierophant. I don't know if I showed you guys in the other reading. The Wheel of Fortune... The Five of Pentacles. Hold on, guys. I feel like someone's been through a lot in a higher level of commitment. Someone hasn't been the greatest in a relationship or there was like a couple here that have been through a lot. I feel like right now this wheel of karma is hitting them financially. I'm also getting that they're heavily codependent on each other. I want to see what this is, though. Who's this Queen of Pentacles? This could be a wife or a mother energy or father or husband. No gender in tarot, guys. The Emperor in reverse. So this could be a same sex, guys. Two women. Doesn't have to be. This also could be a, um, a male that's in a feminine energy. So a male that perceives themselves to be the emperor, but they're actually an emperor in reverse. Very con controlling. The opposite of King Arthur in the circle table. This is someone that um, thinks they're above someone else. That they sit on the throne and everyone needs to kiss their boots is what I'm getting. And this could have been this person that put this Divine Masculine through a lot with the Nine of Wands in their relationship. I'm getting heavily a marriage, though, with the Queen of Pentacles. Who's this, um, this Queen of Swords? Who's this Queen of Swords? So right now, your Divine Masculine 
could be um, being blocked by this emperor in reverse queen of pentacles energy. And it could be because of finances and emotional manipulation is what I'm getting. Who's this queen of swords? Two of wands. Divine feminines, it's you. I feel like you've been waiting. I also feel like you are well aware of this other person. So if you are not aware of this other person, this karmic energy, this emperor in reverse, queen of pentacles, this is not your part of the reading. Ignore this part. But I feel like you are well aware that you've been waiting because there's someone that's been blocking the connection. I feel like this is why your sword is up. This is why your boundary is up. Like, you see how her hand is out? Um, it's not really giving me like she's going to bitch slap someone. It's more like, I'm here when you're ready. But I'm also ready to cut off bullshit. And I'm also getting that your person... No, actually, I'm getting you have made your choice. And you... Yeah, you choose your soul. However that resonates for you. Because keep in mind, twin flames, we share the same soul. So it could be that you've picked this person a long time ago, that you've just been waiting. Yeah, look, the fool. A fool in love, I guess, right? Someone took advantage of your love and your childlike energy. Someone also took advantage of your pain. So you could have expressed things to this divine masculine. And um, they used it in, in some, some sense to manipulate you and to see, deceive you. To put others against you. Could have been like nine different people. I'm getting like a community here. Five, seven, nine. The magician could be a manipulative energy. And I feel like your divine masculine was in this magician energy. Single. Even if they were in a, a karmic relationship, it didn't matter. They still had like that single vibes. It's giving me knight of swords. Sorry. Knight of wands. But since I said the knight of swords, this could have been also an impulsive energy. That when they got caught up, they dipped out real quick because they got scared or, you know, they thought that they, I just heard devilish, devilishly handsome, charming. They thought that they could just walk away from you and it not affect them, but they were wrong. They forgot to recognize your light and that you were the high priestess and they fucked around and found out. And now they're afraid that you're done with them. That there's no way for them to come back to you. The Hierophant and the Wheel of Fortune. God's working on this connection heavily. I feel like there's a lot of angels, a lot of protection in this in this um, dynamic. A lot of angels are protecting this connection. But keep in mind guys. Us as human beings also have to protect ourselves. Never forget that. Let's start using our abilities for the greater good of humanity. And other humans. Alright. Why the Page of Cups? I'm so sorry, guys, for the really long-ass reading again, but this is an awesome reading. I'm not even going to lie. Page of Cups, Queen, uh, King of Wands, excuse me. I almost said Queen of Wands. You could have a lot of chemistry with this person for me to accidentally say this. I'm uh, that, and I'm also getting that you guys are both heavily attractive as well.
Someone's calling, uh, God is calling judgment on this King of Wands, this Divine Masculine's karmic. For, uh, interfering too much in this connection. Also calling judgment for interfering in your life, Divine Feminine. Nine of Pentacles again. There could be an age gap between you two. Mm-hmm. This Divine Masculine has found out something, and now they're taking the reins of their life. If they haven't found out yet, they're about to. And they're about to find out that they wield their own sword. Not a damn soul controls their life besides them. And honestly, Divine Feminines, I feel like you were the one that showed this, this Divine Masculine the way. I am getting that there is another masculine energy coming towards you. Actually, let's see. I want to see. I want to see who this is. Who's this King of Wands? Let's get one more for the King of Wands and the Page of Cups. Yeah, okay. So this is your Divine Masculine um, in all of the King energies. They're moving up. Yep. Wow, look. King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. King of Pentacles. We saw the Emperor. Temperance. Oh, we have Pisces. I think the world is Cancer. I could be totally wrong. Um, Gemini Virgo energy. Taurus energy. Leo energy. Sagittarius energy. Temperance with the... King of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to water this connection. They, they're they being patient. They're doing things right. I feel like they are heavily focused on work right now. I'm not going to lie. Um, a stability is very much a factor for this person. But they are coming towards you. Oh my gosh, my stomach keeps growling, guys. I'm sorry, I haven't eaten. And it's like, I think it's like 3 p.m. where I'm at. Or 2 p.m. I don't. I don't know. I gotta get a clock in here. Oh man, yeah, they're coming towards you. There was some kind of epiphany that showed them the way to you, and they want to come in quick. But they're being patient with themselves. They're trying not to be that King of Swords and impulsive. They want to do things right with you. Something about if they don't, if they don't do it right, that they're afraid that something's gonna happen, like that you're gonna want nothing to do with them. They want to fight for this connection, though. Seven of Wands. They want, I just heard they want to fight for you like they haven't fought for you before. Wow, and they just split the deck at, look, the Empress. The Empress, the Four of Cups, and the Star. They're seeing you in your glory is what I'm hearing. They feel like an idiot is also what I'm hearing. Um... And I don't mean that in a rude way, guys. That's just what channeled through. They feel like an idiot for not seeing you in your high priestess, empress energy with the star. This is super healing. This is definitely goddess energy, divine feminine energy. And they were blocked from it. But guys, we need to learn how to forgive ourselves when we don't see things for what they are. Because God, the universe, whoever you believe in, it will they will block you from not seeing people's truths. And it's for sometimes your protection. And it's also for you to learn the lesson. Okay? Sometimes we need to not see something so we can lose it and learn the lesson. And that's why forgiveness is key for ourselves and others. Why the Knight of Cups? Why the Knight of Cups? Oh. oh, man. Hold on, guys. Something fell. Yeah, guys, go listen to that song by Marcus Houston, Everything. Because this whole reading, that's what I keep hearing. You gave your life to me when you didn't have a thing to offer me. And now you think that I'm going to dip. So there's some, there's definitely something profound. I feel like both of you have a message for each other in that, in that song. And I haven't heard that song in forever. So I'm going to have to go listen to that song. So Knight of Cups is the Four of Swords and the Lovers. There is a blockage. 
with someone coming forward right now to express their love to you, their desire. Because I love the lover's card. This is my favorite love card. And it's not because people see it as the twin flame card. It's because the lover's is literally an abundance of love. It's love. It's desire. It's respect. It's, you know, it's all the things that you require in a relationship to be healthy. You never want to start stop dating the person that you marry or you're in a relationship with. And a lot of people forget that. And why? It's because they lose desire for each other. They lose that basis of friendship, that chemistry, that laughter, you know? And I love the lover's card for that. And I love the lover's card, especially in the Light Seer's Tarot, because you can see how much they respect each other and love each other. It's like they want to devour each other and they want to hear what each other has to say at the same time. Look. Look at this lover's card. This is beautiful. I love this card. The respect, the admiration, the desire. It's there. We got another arrow. I didn't even know that. Someone could like archery. Or you very well could be um, a Sagittarius. But you see the connection? It's, it's giving me like sacred geometry. Like you guys fit together in this world and you didn't even know it. You were meant to come together. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Wands. I told you there's definitely passion and desire and someone wants to express this to you. You're, you're probably going to be very surprised, honestly. When this person comes in, their emotions could be running really high. But I think it's because it's been built up so much that they're probably going to like word vomit you. <laughs> And tell you all these things like, I love you. Um, I'm sorry. You know, like everything. They definitely desire you. They definitely want to rush towards you. Yeah, it's you. I'm hearing it again. It's always been you. They're very heartbroken. Over this, the, the loss of this connection is what I'm hearing. 35 could be significant for you guys. I'm also getting if there is a um, an issue with someone that used to be in a Knight of Wands energy. There's some kind of deep-rooted heartbreak as to why they were in that, that energy. They're working through it, though. Yeah, I, I just heard, I deserve to be loved. So I feel like there's a Divine Masculine that's starting to wake up to their worth, which is awesome. Very, very beautiful. Why the Two of Pentacles? Why the Two of Pentacles? We have the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. I told you, someone is going to take action. They want to express to you how they feel about you. How much they desire you. I love that we're starting to see a lot of wand energy with the pentacles. Because, um, I mean, there's not too much pentacles yet. But it's a work in progress, guys. But we are starting to see more of the wands and not just the cups. It means they're taking actions. Whether it's taking actions on healing certain things or seeing other negative things around them and releasing people, they're taking action and walking away from what no longer serves them. It could be a total of eight people, guys. That nine of wands when we saw like nine people against you, it could have very well included your divine masculine, sadly, because they didn't see who you truly were to them. But they're walking away from people, places, things, yeah. They're starting to fight for this connection. They're starting to fight through their burdens, their responsibilities, their obligations. They're figuring, figuring out ways to do so. Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. They're being patient. 
and they're figuring out a new way to do something. And if they're not right now, they're going to be. There was some kind of shakeup that, that showed this divine masculine the truth. And it put them in this hermit mode right now. They're isolating from people. They're, they could be working with um, Angel Michael. I'm also getting Raphael for healing emotions. I'm getting Metatron, even though I don't know much about Metatron, guys, so don't hold me on that. I think there's something to do with rainbows with Metatron, though. I could be totally wrong on that, so also don't quote me. <laughs> but for some reason, I got rainbows in my head, and now I'm getting double rainbow. Yeah, they're just working through. Something hurt them deeply. This tower... This tower hurt them a lot. They're grieving a lot. They're really heartbroken. But it's it's super transformative for them. They're healing. They could be needing to heal a little bit of anger. I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a divine masculine that was pure logic or pure lust. I'm not going to lie. And in the end, it ended up breaking their own heart. And that's why I think they're healing and they're finding a new way. They could be working with other people to try to heal. Um, actually, you know what I just heard was therapy. They could be in therapy. And it could be because of this person, this Queen of Pentacles, Emperor in Reverse. All right, why the Eight of Wands? I just heard incoming message. Why the Eight of Wands? Oh, damn. Nine of Wands in the Hierophant. This Divine Masculine might actually reach out to you because of this situation that happens with their um, karmic. Yeah, I just heard you are the only one I can trust. You're the only one that would understand. So, guys, I know you're probably not going to want to hear this, but you are in your Divine Feminine energy, so you probably are capable of doing this, but... Um, obviously be unbiased and be open and available. Cause again, what you do for self, you do for twin, what, what twin does for self helps you. So you helping your divine masculine get over this or helping them find their way and don't do it out of malicious guys. Don't do it out of expectation of wanting them to commit to you do it out of the kindness of your heart because this is someone you hold unconditional love for this is your best friend it doesn't matter if you're not in communication guys i haven't been in communication from my twin since september 2022 okay and yeah i feel like she's currently in my life because i feel her energy constantly and out of anyone on this planet, she does feel like my best friend. Well, regardless of whether or not that sounds weird to everyone, it doesn't to me because I believe in this and I, I feel this. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, they very... Yeah, look, bring love into the situation. Emotions are running high. They They definitely could very well reach out to you and ask you for advice or just to vent or to talk 1818. I just heard even if it's just for a hug. I'm picturing two people in a car just talking, and I'm picturing that card that I have in one of my channel decks. Um, even if we just sit in a car and talk to each other and do nothing else, that's all I need. Oh, no. Even if we sit in a car and not even talk to each other, just be in each other's presence, that's all I need right now. Something about your energy. Four of Pentacles. They could be a little bit um, apprehensive, stubborn about doing this. Something about like a pedestal or um, them feeling like it would be like weak or something if they came towards you, which is not the best energy for them to be in. Uh, but this, I think, is why you need to bring love into the situation. Um, I'm also hearing like um, working on forgiving them if you still need to, you know, but compassion, guys. Compassion. This could be a test for you to see how you're going to handle it. But honestly, with the chariot and judgment, I feel like you're you're going to succeed. You're too much in your divine feminine energy to not 
sincerely help this person out if they, they reach out to you for help. It doesn't matter if it's a page of wands, text message, you know, like a short little, hi, how are you? I know it's been a while um, kind of thing. It's, it's almost like you're going to sense that they need you. And you're going to be there for them. It's it's honestly kind of what I uh, text my Divine Masculine after she told me she didn't want anything to do with me. I said, that's fine. But um, you know where I live. If you or your family ever needs anything, I'm always here for you. And I left it alone. 2015 could be significant. We have the Nine of Cups when I split the deck. We're going to close the reading out. Um, we're going to do Lover's Oracle. This was a beautiful reading, guys. I don't know if I said it already, but if you haven't, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video, share this content. Please, guys, please. Only if you're called to it, though. Always follow your intuition. God, Michael, spirit. I'm being called to this card. Right here. Uh, sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For there you will find true bliss. It's also giving me physical bliss. Hold on, something fell. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting shaman with this card, guys, and connecting with nature. Don't forget, uh, look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. So if you're feeling triggered, it's like I said about um, the one reading where I kept hearing someone's coming to save you. And it, it wasn't that it was, like, triggering me to, like, oh, fuck that shit. No, it was more, like, bothering me. Like, I don't want someone to save me. Like, I want to be whole all by myself, you know? And I had to figure out where that was coming from. All right, let's get one more. No way. Guys, look what just fell up. Twin flames. Your passion ignites. This is the card. I'm telling you, the divine is protecting and looking over this connection. This connection is meant to be. You just got to put forth the effort, guys. Whatever effort that may be. And then we have this card right here that came out as well. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So if you guys are de debating whether or not you guys feel for each other, don't. The feelings don't go away, guys. This is not a connection like anybody else. And then we have this one. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Exactly. It's given me that whole materialistic thing you guys need to start figuring out. And it's also given me what I said about souls. People need to start realizing that their soul matters. And what their, their human vessels are doing, it's going to matter in the future. And then the last one bottom of the deck hold on guys oh man i gotta go eat something my stomach is going to town now i'm starting to get a headache you gave your love to me when i didn't have a thing to offer you so this is the one that's on top but the one on the bottom is transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. And on, honestly, when I heard deepen, I do feel like it's that foundation, guys, of friendship. So please, guys, be open. If your divine masculine comes to you and needing a friend, maybe this is the way things start. Maybe it's not. But do it out of the kindness of your heart. Bring love into the situation. I'm going to read the one on top just because I'm called to it. But look, 
I feel like this conversation, this transformation is going to set your hearts on fire. That little flame that you thought burnt out, that candle that withered away, there's embers in there waiting to spark. And then this one I was called to in the top, we have only time will tell. So don't rush it, guys. Don't force it. Don't do any of it. Okay? Because when you force things, that's where, when nothing will come of the situation. You don't want to do that. Don't try to control the outcome or the course of the situation. God is in control, not us. I love you guys. Hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. Peace.